Heidelin. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Aeorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon Dalamud was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal.
The Black Shroud, the ancient forest close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. May the matron take him to her bosom, that he may never want. And in his heart, sow serenity, purity, and sanctity.